Scorpio, welcome to your general reading. You're watching Emery's Tarot. My name's Clive. First of all, I'd like to thank you for your support. Cross watchers, new viewers, and everybody is welcome. So, but just before we get into this, I've only got one more message, and that is please take the bits that resonate, leave the rest. Do not try and make it fit. If this doesn't naturally resonate, perhaps a later video will. If you try and make it fit, you will undoubtedly lead you to be led to wrong conclusions. Let it naturally flow. Here we go. This is for the sign of Scorpio. Oh, the cards are very, very busy. I'm going to show you this. You're about to make a decision and about to act on it. It's a decision that you've been contemplating for a long while, but now you're ready to act. You have been waiting for somebody a long, long time or something. The right moment, that's what I'm getting. So here we go. That's just generally. Ah, success with somebody. Or an enterprise. You are taking the initiative. Karma's been at play here. Divine timing. Your more temperate attitude towards somebody or a situation within work or your private life or even in your family. <clears throat> somebody here has been demanding a lot of you. Okay. But your temperate and efforts are finally paying off now. As I say, the karma you've put out, the effort you put out is finally paying dividends. All right, there is a big decision here. Perhaps there's legal issues involved, a separation of some kind, divorce. You could be dealing with somebody who is narcissistic, okay, controlling. That's the extreme, it's not for all of you. But I'm kind of getting here, some of you could be dealing with someone who has an addiction, okay, or obsessive thinking. All right, but either way, you're making a clear cut decision on this. All right, it's been very, very burdensome and it's certainly taken its toll on you. Somebody here has put a lot of responsibility on you that's not really yours to take. Okay, and I'm kind of getting you've had enough. You're making a decision now and you are wanting to rebuild your life. <clears throat> you've experienced a lot. So now you're much wiser. Okay, the energy has been very, very scattered between you and somebody. It's been up and down. And after many, many attempts, I'm kind of getting, you know, you've been struggling to get focus with this person, continuity or this situation. It could even be in a work situation. But what I'm getting here, most of all, is King of Wands. Somebody does kind of want it their way. Okay, it's kind of their way of the highway. They are a freedom lover. Okay, they're very astute, very business-like. They're very intelligent. But, you know, you see this person as too controlling. And finally, I'm getting that you're meeting this person spiritually and emotionally on equal terms now. Okay, you've come full circle and there's a new opportunity for you. Okay, it's all coming to like a fiery climax. And what I mean that is by a passionate discussion, the truth coming out, you bringing conclusions to the past. Okay, and at times you've stuck with this situation because you didn't really know what you wanted out of life. You didn't have a, a goal to achieve. You didn't have any ambitions. All right, but now you've kind of come full circle on yourself and now you know exactly what it is you want to do and you're taking the initiative and going for it on getting here. There's been a lot of pressure here from somebody. I'm getting a lot of Sagittarius energy here. Now, but don't get too hooked up on signs and this is no detriment to any Sagittarius one, <laughs> you know, detriment or judgment on any Sagittarius watching but I do feel here because of all this fire energy uh, particularly with the temperance card here that indicates to me a lot of Sagittarius all right but it doesn't mean you're the one controlling so please don't take that as a judgment all right there's a lot of action here wand energy is all about action 
Somebody here has decided to focus on you, Scorpio. Okay, and they, this person knows exactly what they want. The question is because of the history between you and this person and because your personal situation now, okay, it's, it's kind of up to you. Mm. Because there's a lot of strength and courage and determination about you. And what I am getting here is you've worked hard for what you've got. And I'm kind of getting that you're not prepared to give that up. Family is very important to you at the moment. All right, that's what I'm getting. But I can see private discussions. I can see clandestine meetings. Hmm. I can even see a job interview coming for you and that paying off. Something very creative. Some of you could even be working independently. Okay. As I say, this is a general reading, so I'm trying to cover career and a, a personal relationship or love life and family all in one so but the energy remains the same whatever you're dealing with you're kind of taking the initiative in this you're taking back your power you've achieved a lot and you put yourself in a very good position Scorpio now you're having to do a lot of reevaluating. the direction in life that you thought you were going on okay you the attitude is now changing but you're doing a lot of reevaluating, a lot of contemplation. The person you're dealing with has also been doing this. They've realised that they want you in their life. Okay, so that they're coming in all committed. Perhaps you see them as overzealous, being too demanding, too pressuring. You need time to think. So I'm kind of getting here, you're slowing things down. All right. You're beginning to realise your own self-worth. There could even be a child involved. Okay, they're on your side of the person you're dealing with, but there's there's incoming messages quite unexpectedly. Hmm. There's definitely somebody here who knows what they want, and they're actually going for it. Hmm. A lot of conflict. Somebody here has been passive-aggressive. Okay, because they've got many choices. Or they have had many choices. It's caused a lot of conflict. Okay, perhaps you were given the silent treatment. But things are changing very, very quickly here, I can see. There is, a, there is an emotional offer coming your way. I'm kind of getting somebody here who's being truthful. From your point of view, try not to get overzealous with your emotions. Not that you are overzealous with your emotions anyway, just be you basically. And that's not a judgment. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's a trait of earth signs. All signs have traits, some positive, some negative. Okay, I'm an Aquarian. I've got negative attributes as well I it's a question of accepting who you are um, with you on getting that you are slowing things down okay you are keeping your feet on the ground you want this to be right if you're going to go for it some of you could well dismiss it altogether it is going to cause a bit of a drama one way or the other but there is a commitment here there's a marriage also that's hindering the proceeds or a long-term commitment. But there's also different beliefs. I'm picking up that these beliefs could be upbringing, religious beliefs, beliefs taught in as a child, you know, different parentage, different heritage, even different cultures. That's affecting, you know, this situation. But you... The decision's yours. You do seem to know what you want. And you're sticking to your guns here. I'm going to get in for some of you. There is relocation or the chance of relocation. 
the question is something here is going to end okay your lifestyle either way is going to change direction and it's it's a question of living different lifestyles relocation even to another country but it's bringing conclusions to the past a peaceful conclusion to the past you're not putting yourself in a position that you feel trapped you're certainly taking your time and i'm getting that this is nothing set in stone yet but i'm getting finally to you and another person are finally coming onto the same page you want the same thing you're working through practical solutions but there is changes here but i'm kind of getting that for you once you've made up your mind no amount of persuasion or temptation is going to get in your way you've got very fixed ideas on what you want to achieve you've got very fixed ideas on now on what you want to fulfill in your ambitions your bucket list okay but the, you ain't going to let anybody's opinions persuade you otherwise you are coming to realize a lot of stuff about the past you're seeing the truth you're seeing reality now you you're no longer looking through rose tinted glasses the future does look bright i can see some good news coming in and somebody here is finally paying you the you the attention you feel you deserve you're no longer being treated like an option okay where somebody had one foot in one foot out of the relationship or situation whether this isn't a partnership at work could even be there's a there's a huge change and a huge turnaround this is one of commitment now this is overcoming the fear of commitment and actually willing to face the challenges so that you two can come together this is a very very good reading i'm getting a lot of strength with it bravo i'm going to leave it there thanks very much for watching